Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to your new moon in Pisces class. Um, this, I've been so excited for this because I'm a Pisces. I'm wearing all my Pisces gear. got my Pisces shirt. These leggings have Pisces on the back of them. I'm all about it. Um, <clears throat> I'm a Pisces sun and a Pisces Venus. Uh, my birthday is March 16th, so I'm very excited. So if you're my, one of my fellow Pisces, let me know in the comments. Now, if you haven't done one of my classes before, welcome. My name is Natasha, um, aka Nourish Natasha. I teach yoga for all bodies, accessible yoga, yoga connected to astrology um, and witchy stuff. Um, I'm a 500-hour registered yoga teacher as well as an elite trainer, fitness nutrition specialist, coach, um, group fitness specialist, everything. Um, my passion is, <clears throat> you know, just making movement and health and nourishment and yoga accessible for everyone. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Remember throughout my class to listen to your body. Everything I say is an option, not an order. Do what works best for you. Now, let's get into what this Pisces new moon means, right? So the Pisces new moon is gonna be on March 13th. Um, Pisces rules the feet, so we are gonna hit the feet a bit. Um, Pisces also rules the pineal gland. Now the pineal gland is a gland inside of our heads and this is the gland that they, they literally call this the third eye gland. So of course we're going to be focusing on that third eye chakra because our Pisces, we're the most intuitive sign. Um, we are very in touch with our psychic energy. I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm a very natural lucid dreamer, so I have some crazy dreams and you might have noticed that during this Pisces season you've been having some crazy dreams, right? Now is the time to listen to those dreams, see what messages are coming through, maybe keep a dream journal. Um, so it's the pineal gland. It produces melatonin, um, it helps us dream. So this is the third eye gland. So we're gonna be focusing on the third eye today. Um, so you will need blocks for this class. We're gonna use blocks to start and then blocks to end to focus on our third eye. Um, so what is, what is happening this new moon? It's Pisces, it's about dreaming. It is the new moon, so new moon is manifestation. Um, this is the time to dream big. This is the time to visualize your goals. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just reading my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. This is the time to daydream. This is the time to visualize your ideal future. Um, tap into that Pisces imagination, right? Give yourself permission to dream bigger. Ask yourself, what if the best happened? A lot of the times, you know, we focus on what if the worst happened, right? I want you to focus on what if the best happened? And our mantra, our affirmation for class today is I'm allowed to dream bigger. So give yourself permission to dream bigger. We're going to be um, actually doing a little visualization meditation at the end of this class. So get ready to dream. Um, I think that is all I got. So we are gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna get started, of course, in fish pose because Pisces. Um, so a supported fish pose, so you can use your blocks. Um, if you'd like to not use your blocks, that's also an option, but we're gonna get started in supported fish pose. Now you might, might need one, might need two. I only need the one, but I'll show you what we're doing here. So you're gonna take one block, you're gonna put it right in the middle of your mat, and this block is gonna go right in between your shoulder blades, kinda of right where that bra line is. And you're just gonna lay back on it. You can keep that other block nearby if you need it. So I'm finding that block right in between my shoulder blades, right where my bra line sits. And I'm, an option, if you need to take this other block and use it as a pillow underneath your head, you can do that, or you can let your head rest back onto the mat. So again, listening to your body. And for your legs, you can keep them bent. You can maybe knock your knees in together if you wanna Maybe work on that lower back a bit, or you can bring your feet bottoms together to touch, opening up at the knees, finding a soup to bottom kanasana, so maybe tapping into that sacral chakra a bit, opening up the hips, or you can extend the legs long on the back. Again, remember, listen to your body. What does your body need? Now I want you to place your palms facing up, so you're open to receive. Receive all these downloads from the universe, you know, what is it trying to tell you? How do you need to dream bigger? So palms facing up to receive. And go ahead and close your eyes here. As you inhale, you fill up the chest, fill up the belly, take up space. And as you exhale, sink deeper into that block. Maybe feel your shoulders open, kind of melting over the sides of that block even more. And just bring your focus to your breath. 
Notice it as it goes in and out through your nose. Starting to bring your awareness to right now, the present, your body on this mat. And bring it inward. So using your breath, check in here. Take inventory. Take inventory of the mind, the body, the soul. And notice where maybe some blockages are coming up, maybe some tension, some constraints. Maybe as soon as I said to dream bigger or imagine the best case scenario, instantly there were some blockages in your mind, like, nope, can't do that. What if this happens? What if that happens? I encourage you to try to let them go. Try to let those blockages go. Use your breath to release them. And remember to practice non-judgment, non-attachment here. We're human. It's natural for us to have these feelings. But just know we're going to work through them today. Continue to breathe here. Take a moment to use that intention, affirmation, mantra for class today. I'm allowed to dream bigger. Give yourself permission to dream bigger. I will seal that with a breath. So inhale in, fill up the chest, fill up the belly, through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Share that intention with the universe. One more big inhale in through the nose, fill up the chest, fill up the belly. And open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Share that affirmation, that intention of dreaming bigger, of giving yourself permission. You can let your breath return to normal. Gently start to maybe wiggle the toes or wiggle the fingers here. Bring some movement to your body. And then when you're ready, what you're going to do is very gently roll off your block to the side to a fetal pose. Move that block out from underneath you. Scooching that block out, coming to that fetal pose. Spending a moment here with your eyes closed. And then when you're ready, gently pressing up to a seat for just a moment and slowly transitioning to sit on your legs, so coming to a hero's pose, sitting on the calves, the feet. Now, if this is uncomfortable for you, you can sit on a block, you can put that block in between your feet, you can sit on two blocks if you need to, you can also sit on a pillow, or if this is maybe uncomfortable for you, if you maybe have a knee injury, you can take easy seated pose. But we are gonna get into the feet here, because again, the Pisces does rule the feet. Keeping those blocks nearby, we'll use them later. So what I want you to do here is you're gonna come to flex feet and you're going to sit on those heels so we're stretching out the feet now you know maybe if you're a runner or if you just <laughs> haven't really done this in a long time it's going to feel pretty intense right i want you to hold it for as long as you can so i want you to bring your hands together in prayer and bring those hands to your third eye so right to the middle of your forehead feeling the pressure from your thumbs on that third eye and i just want you to breathe here for a moment Again, focus on my affirmation. I give myself permission to dream bigger. I'm allowed to dream bigger. And just breathe here for a moment, stretching out those feet. Tapping into that third eye. And go ahead and inhale here and exhale. You can gently release everything, so release the hands. Release the feet to the tops of the feet. Now we're going to stretch out the top of the feet, foot a bit into the ankle. So what I want you to do is you're just going to lean back onto your hands. Now again, you can put blocks under your hands here. So you're coming up to kind of lift the knees and you're stretching out the tops of those feet and the ankles. Again, it might feel a little intense if you've never done this, so you don't have to go very far. Optional challenge if you want. This can also be a balancing pose. I don't know if I'll be able to do it today, but you can kind of come off of your hands, lifting the knees. Ooh. 
balancing here. Again, this is just an option. You don't have to do this, but you just want to play with it. And take an inhale and exhale. Go ahead and release. Still seated on your knees. Again, you can put those blocks underneath you. We're just going to breathe a bit and we're going to tap into that third eye chakra. We, we got into the feet. Now we're going to tap into that pineal gland, that third eye, all about Pisces. So from here, I want you to inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, bring the palms together to touch, tap it to the third eye, and then all the way down. Inhale, arms up. Palms together, come together to touch. Exhale, tap the third eye, and then continue all the way down. Going in a big circle here. Inhaling. Exhale, tap the third eye, and continue down. Inhale, up. Exhale, tap. And release, last one, inhale, arms up. And exhale, tap the third eye, just hold it there for a moment. Again, I'm allowed to dream bigger, I give myself permission to dream bigger. Take an inhale, and exhale, gently release. All right, we're gonna come to that tabletop position here. So hands and knees, shoulder, elbow, wrist are all stacked. Knees are directly underneath the hips. You can place a blanket or maybe double up on your mat um, if your knees are giving you a little bit of grief here. Let's give them some support if you need it. Now in our, in our tabletop here, we're gonna go straight into a cat cow. So I want you to inhale, lift the gaze, lift the chin, open up the chest, arching the back. Exhale, round the back, don't melt the shoulders, drop chin to chest. Inhale to open up, and exhale to round. Now remember to listen to your body here. Listening to your body is tapping into that intuition, which is your third eye. So what does your body need? Maybe you want to rock from side to side. Maybe you want to take it fast, take it slow. Maybe you want to take some full body circles. Listening to your body is tapping into intuition, so give your body what it needs here, listening to your intuition, your inner authentic self, the more you listen, the stronger, the louder that voice will get. Two more here. And finish up your last round come back to a neutral spine now we're going to sink into a child's pose so i'm going to take a wide-legged child's pose so i'm bringing my knees about as wide as the mat sinking my hips back and extending my arms out and I'm really going to try to drop my forehead to the mat so tapping into that third eye dropping forehead to the mat relaxing here for a moment Returning to your breath here, returning to your affirmation, and maybe imagining while you're here the best case scenario. All of your dreams turning out the way that you want them to, I want you to visualize them here. Whether it's love, career, future, anything that your, your health, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever your, your dream is, I want you to visualize it here. And if you feel those blockages coming up of, oh, I'll never get there, that's too big, I can't do that, a simple affirmation that might help is everything will turn out even better than I expected to. Everything will turn out even better than I expected to. Even if it's just a little bit better, right? Now, as you gently inhale, come back up to your tabletop. Now we're going to find a puppy pose here. Puppy pose is similar to child's pose, but a little bit more of an intense heart opener. And if it's too much for you, I just want you to go back to your child's pose. So what you're going to do is keep your hips stacked over your knees and then just walk your hands out and drop your chest to the mat. And again, I want you to try to tap that forehead to the mat as well. 
So getting a little bit into our heart chakra here. Getting into the shoulders, the spine, the neck. And breathing here. Feeling that pressure on the third eye. And now inhale here and exhale. I want you to slide forward and come all the way down to your belly. So we're going to come to a sphinx pose here just for a moment. Tapping again if into that heart chakra a bit. I want you to make sure your shoulders are pressed away from your ears. Your gaze is up. Your chin is lifted. Now if this is enough for you, I want you to stay right here. If you want a little more, you're going to put pressure into your hands. Press the palms into the mat and straighten the arms. And now we're going to walk the hands back nice and slow. All the way up to a full cobra a high cobra pose. Again, if this is too much, you're staying in your sphinx or maybe a low cobra. Your chin is lifted. Again, shoulders aren't shrugged up to the ears. They're pressing down and away. Now inhale here and exhale. Find your child's pose. Tap the forehead to the mat. Again, I'm taking a wide-legged child's pose here. Now we're going to do an extended cat-cow, which is where we're going to transition from cobra to child's pose. Now, if that is too much, I want you to stick with your regular cat-cow like we did in tabletop. But if you want a little more, you're going to inhale to your heart opener, your cow pose. In this case, an extend extended cow is a cobra. And then exhale to your counter pose, so either cat or taking a child's pose. Tapping that forehead to the mat. Inhale. Open up and exhale, counter pose, tap the forehead to the mat. Inhale, open up and exhale, tap the forehead. Now last one, you're going to inhale up to your cobra. You can also take a low cobra here if you prefer. And we're just going to do some cobra push-ups where we're going to tap our forehead to the mat. So what it looks like is I'm inhaling here, exhaling, bending at the elbows, dropping my upper body, tapping my forehead to the mat, and then inhaling, pressing back up. So go ahead and do five rounds of that. If you want something a little less intense, you're going from low cobra, so hands are under the shoulders, and you're just lifting head, chest, shoulders, and then exhale, tap the forehead to the mat. So choose what works best for you and your body. And remember that listening to your body is listening to your intuition. So trust it. Trust that it knows what's best for you. Taking it nice and slow here. Making sure you're tapping that third eye to the mat. And taking your last one here, last tap. And inhaling up to Cobra, and one more time, exhale to that child's pose. Forehead touches the mat, tapping that third eye. Taking a moment to breathe here. You got a little heart chakra action in there. When you're ready, gently inhaling back up to your tabletop. Now we're going to find our first downward facing dog of class. So I want you to tuck your toes and inhale those hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Remembering again to take what works best for your body. So maybe you want to step your feet a little wider. If you need to make room for your belly, maybe you want to bend into the knees. If you have really tight hamstrings, just listening to your body here, finding some movement. Maybe pedaling out the feet, again, tapping into those feet for our Pisces. Go and find stillness, and then inhale, gaze to the top of the mat, 
And exhale, go ahead and travel forward <clears throat> into a forward fold here. Let me grab some water, got a frog in my throat. <laughs> in your forward fold, again, you can widen the feet. If you need to make room for your belly, spend some time in movement here. Maybe rocking from side to side. You can grab for opposite elbows, maybe bounce a little. Doing what works best for you and your body. Go ahead and come to stillness. Bring your hands to shins. Press into them. Inhale for a halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. Then exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment here to close your eyes. Bring it back to your breath. Back to our affirmation. Give yourself that permission to dream bigger. Now we're gonna do some little half sun salutes with the third eye tap here. So what I want you to do is inhale those arms up overhead. Exhale, palms together to touch, tap the third eye, and then exhale all the way down to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Two more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, tap the third eye, and then continue all the way down to a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. One more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, tap the third eye and continue to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment here. All right, my friends, we're gonna transition through just some lunges here. We're gonna get into our sacral chakra just a bit, get into our hips just a bit. Um, Cause you know, we store a lot of emotions in our hips and maybe that's where our blockages are. Our blockages for our dreams, it's, it's stored in our hips. So we're gonna loosen up those hips just a bit. So I'm gonna cue these poses from standing for anyone that needs it, if you'd like to take these lunges from a vinyasa, be my guest. Again, listen to your body. So from standing, what we're gonna do is transition to a high crescent lunge. Now we're gonna start with the right foot. So I'm putting all my weight into my right foot and then I'm gonna step the left foot back into a high crescent. Again, if you'd like to get here from your downward facing dog or three-legged dog, please be my guest. My hips are square to the front of the mat my knee is over my ankle, and I'm finding my pepper stance here first before I inhale those arms up. I'm gonna hold here. I'm gonna breathe here. Finding this power. And then I'm gonna inhale and exhale, open up to a warrior two. So I'm going from a close up to an open hip Knee is still over the ankle. My back foot went from up to flat and to the side, opening up my arms and opening up the hips. Gazing forward. Again, these are power stances. So we're tapping into our power, remembering that our dreams give us power and we can power our dreams. Breathing here. Now I want you to inhale here and exhale, you're just gonna step right back to the top of your mat or flow through vinyasa if that's what you're doing here. Shake it out just a bit. And we're gonna go to the other side. So putting all my weight now into my left foot. And I'm gonna transition to that high crescent. So stepping back with my right into a high crescent or taking it from a vinyasa, finding my power here before I inhale my arms up. So I'm breathing here. Finding this power, finding my power in my dreams. Inhale, 
and then exhale, open up to that warrior two. Gotta show off that Pisces shirt, you know, with my constellation on the back. I'm breathing here, gazing over those front fingertips, reminding yourself of our affirmation, giving yourself permission to dream bigger, because that is our power. We have the power for unlimited possibilities in our dreams. Inhale here, and exhale, find your way back to the top of the mat. Shake it out if you need to. All right, we're gonna transition back down to the mat, so I want you to inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms are to touch, tap that third eye, and then fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. And you can step back either to a tabletop, to a downward dog, or flow through a vinyasa if you would like. Wherever you're at, we're all going to eventually meet in our child's pose. So I'm taking a wide-legged child's pose, taking my hips back, extending my arms out, and bringing that third eye to the mat. Tapping in again to my affirmation and taking some time here to start visualizing what are my dreams? How can I make them bigger? Don't forget to breathe while we're here. Now I want you to inhale here. Exhale, walk your hands over to the right. Getting a little side stretch here. Still bringing your forehead to the mat. Stretching out that left side body. Inhale, bring the hands back through center and exhale them over to the left. So now stretching out that right side body. Inhaling back to center for just a moment. And we'll go ahead and gently release. We go ahead and come up to a seat on your knees and grab some water if you need to. So now we're going to flow through some low lunges here, some more hip openers. I'm going to give the option for a mermaid pose in our pigeon because Pisces, you don't have to take it, but I'll cue you if you want to take it. So what we're going to do, now you can use your blocks here if you have short arms like me or if you need them for your low lunge, keep them with you. You're going to come to stand on your knees and starting with the right leg, we're going to step that right foot out into a low lunge. So knees over ankle and again, you have the option to take these from a vinyasa if you would like keeping my knee over ankle. Now this is where those blocks can come in. Maybe you need to have hands on those blocks here. Maybe you can bring hands to the thigh. Or maybe you can inhale those arms all the way up. Finding what works best for you here. Feeling it in this left hip flexor. Now take a big inhale here, exhale, hands coming there down to the blocks or to the mat, straightening that front leg and finding a half splits here. So flexing those right toes back to your face. And again, you might need the blocks, you might not. Breathing into that hamstring. Now go ahead and inhale gently back to your low lunge. Now we're going to find a lizard here. So I'm bringing both my hands to the inside of that right foot. I'm scooting that right foot forward and out to the right. I'm going to open that right foot to the side. So I'm opening my foot here and I'm finding my lizard. So you can keep on your hands. 
You can also be on blocks. You can come forearms to blocks or forearms to the mat. Now, option here, you don't not, do not have to take this, but if you want an extra little quad stretch, you're going to bend that left foot and reach around with the right hand to grab that foot and find yourself a little quad stretch, opening up the heart as well. Again, just an option. Now very gently release that foot, no slingshots here. Come back to that lizard. Now we're gonna to come to a pigeon from here. So you're gonna scooch that right foot back through center and all the way over to the left. So that shin is coming parallel, dropping to the mat. Left foot is still extended behind you now. Maybe you're, you're noticing that your right hip isn't touching the mat all the way. So maybe you wanna take a block and put it right underneath that hip. Giving yourself a little support here. Take a second to take a little back bend before you go ahead and rest your pigeon, folding over that front leg. Breathing here, maybe again tapping in that third eye with either your thumbs or tapping the third eye all the way to the mat. Inhale, gently come back to your palms. Now option again, I told you I was gonna give you the option for mermaid pose. So here is the option. You're gonna bend that left leg. Now this is again, you might need to sit on that block to access this pose. I can't do it on this side, but I'm gonna try to demo it as best as I can. So you're gonna try to bring this left foot into the crux of your elbow. So again, this is my bad side, but I would bring that left foot all the way up into my elbow and then you're going to take your arms, clasping the hands, your foot should go right here, finding a mermaid pose. So I might be able to do it on the other side, but I have a knee injury on this right leg and it's just not going to happen today, but that's okay because it's my body and you know what? It's, I still love it and it's still worthy no matter what. So a little modified mermaid, but again, it's just an option. You don't have to take it, but if you're going to let go of this foot, make sure no slingshots, gently release. I'm going to press into the mat and then gently slide that foot back to the knees and come to a seat on my knees. We can do the other side. So whenever you're ready, I'm going to come to stand on my knees. Again, stepping now this left foot out into my low lunge. If you need blocks, use your blocks. Or maybe you want to come to that thigh. Or maybe inhale your arms all the way up. Wherever you're at, you're going to breathe. Feeling it in that hip flexor. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, hands come down to the mat or to the blocks. Straightening that front leg. Finding your half splits. Flexing your toes back to your face. Breathing into that hamstring. Then go ahead and inhale, come forward into that low lunge again. Now we're going to find that lizard, so bringing both hands to the inside of that left foot, scooting it forward and out to the left, opening that foot. And again, finding your edge, so maybe you need to come to blocks, or maybe you could bring, come to your forearms. If you want that added quad stretch, again, I'm going to bend at the knee, reach around, Grab that foot and open up here. Just an option, of course. Gently releasing that foot, no slingshots. Bringing my hands down, releasing that foot. And again, I'm gonna to come to my pigeon now. So I'm scooching this left foot all the way through center and over to the right. Come into my pigeon pose, right leg is still extended. Now again, maybe you need to put a block underneath that hip. Just an option for you. Taking a second to find 
a little back bend, and then go ahead and rest that pigeon. Maybe tapping into that third eye here, either to your thumbs or all the way down to the mat. Breathing here, remembering that affirmation, maybe visualizing those dreams here. Inhale, gently come up. Now again, option if you want to play around with mermaid, you're going to bend that back foot, try to bring it to the crux of your elbow. I might be able to get it on this side. Maybe if my foot wants to cooperate. I fell off my elliptical a bit ago and injured this knee, so it just does not want to work. So again, bringing the foot to the crux of that elbow, and then ideally you would be grabbing your hands and opening up to your mermaid. My knee is not having it today, but that's okay. We do what we can. Again, if you're releasing, no slingshots with that foot. Coming back to your pigeon and then gently sliding back to your knees and taking a seat here. I'm taking a moment to breathe. Our hips should feel very open. I would love to see if you got your mermaid. I would love to see pictures. So please tag me in them on Instagram at Nourish Natasha. All right. Go ahead and come to a seat on your mat, bringing your blocks with you. Now this is where we're gonna tap in to the third eye with our blocks. So we're gonna bring our feet bottoms together to touch, opening at the knees for our bound angle pose. Now you're gonna take your blocks, you're gonna put them right in front of your feet. Now you might need to stack them because the goal is to bring your forehead to your block. So I'm gonna inhale here for a flat spine. Exhale, hinging at the hips like Barbie to fold and just bring my forehead to that block. If you can fold a little deeper, you can always bring it down a notch. Or if you can tap your forehead to the floor, more power to you. Feeling that pressure on the third eye. Breathing here. We will then inhale. Come on up. Extend the legs out for a wide legged fold. They don't have to go super wide, knowing your limits. Now, again, blocks are right at the center. You can stack them as high as you need them. Inhaling for a straight spine and exhale, hinging at the hips. And bringing your forehead to that block. Breathing here as we tap into this third eye. Giving yourself permission to dream bigger because after this we're going to go for some visualization, meditation, and I want you to dream as big as you possibly can. Inhale, gently go ahead and lift up. You can put those blocks to the side. And I want you to bring your legs straight forward. And we're gonna bend into the left leg, so bringing the left foot to the inside of that thigh. We're gonna do a head to knee pose. So the ultimate goal here, the reason why it's for the third eye is you touch your spoke. It, you know, if you're super flexible, you touch your head to your knee, your forehead to your knee. Now, if you can't do that, totally okay. The intention is there, right? I want you to feel that energy radiating out of that third eye, tapping into that third eye, trusting your intuition, listening to those dreams. So you're going to center yourself over this right leg, again, inhaling for a flat spine and exhale to fold. So if you can't bring your forehead to your knee, that is totally okay. You can maybe just put some pressure there with your hand. Or again, if you would really like to, you can bring a block or blocks to the inside of that leg and bring your forehead to them. Lots of options here. 
Again, just listening to your body. And inhale, come on up. We'll take it to the other side. So we're saying that left leg, right knee bends to place the foot on the inside of that left thigh. Squaring yourself over that left leg, inhaling for a straight spine and exhale to fold. And again, however you want to touch that third eye, choose what works best for you. And go ahead and inhale, come on up. All right, my lovelies, we're going to do a visualization meditation here. So what I want you to do is come to a seat. On, and this, you can take hero's pose, that's the pose I'm going to take, but you can take any seat that's comfortable for you. Again, if you need to, I just want you to sit on a block, sit on a pillow. If you don't have to be sitting at all, you can lay down. Whatever's comfortable, we'll be here for a few minutes. I want you to bring your hands to your third eye. So tapping in prayer, tapping the thumbs to your third eye. I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to bring your awareness to your breath. Just noticing your inhales and exhales, not changing anything about them. I'm starting to bring everything inward. Bring that awareness inward. And one more time, give yourself permission to dream big. You're allowed to dream big. We're gonna do some five part breathing here. I want you to inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, hold. And exhale for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep those long, deep inhales and exhales. Now I want you to visualize your life one year from now. So March of 2022. And I want you to picture everything that might happen in this year, the way that you want it to, any major goals that you want to achieve in this next year, any big dreams that you want to achieve in this next year, I want you to visualize them in your mind. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's starting your own business. Maybe it's a new relationship, a new house, a new car, a new education, anything, anything at all, a new dog, a new pet, whatever your dream is, maybe you're going to move to a new place. I want you to visualize that in your head. I want you to see the details. And I want you to try to dream bigger. If you feel those constraints, that voice in your head that's like, no, we can't do that, or we gotta dial it down, and we gotta dial it back a little bit, I want you to say, no, I can dream bigger. Visualize your life one year from now with all those amazing things that you're manifesting. For me, it looks like a new healthy happy relationship it looks like my dream car a brand new mustang it looks like my business continuing to be just so successful beyond my wildest dreams it looks like a new house next year buying my first house and picture the details picture the details of that house of that car of that new place you're going to move everything i want you to visualize it and feel that feeling of how it feels to have that how happy you are 
those details that make you excited, those icing on the cake goals, as I call them. Maybe it's that dream bathroom and that dream house, right? That's the icing on the cake. And let that feeling fill you up. Feel that happiness, that true alignment with highest self, the excitement that your dreams are gonna come true. And after this class, I want you to journal about it. I want you to write it down in detail. What does it look like? Now we're gonna seal this visualization with a breath. So take a big inhale in through the nose and open mouth exhale, put it out into the universe. Big inhale in through the nose and open mouth exhale, put it out there. You can go ahead and release your hand. Open your eyes gently whenever you're ready. And come back to your space, come back to us. All right, my darlings, I hope you enjoyed that meditation. Now we're gonna take our final Savasana. We're gonna take legs up the wall. It's a third eye chakra Savasana. We're gonna get the blood flowing down from our legs into our lower, or I guess upper body, but we're, it's an inversion, right? We're bringing the blood flow to that third eye. So you're gonna find yourself against the wall. I had to move some of my stuff out of the way here. And you, you can come into it from the sides. I don't have much side space. So you're gonna put your legs straight up the wall. And you can scoot yourself down. So your butt is right up against the wall. Legs up the wall is a great Savasana for before bed also. And when you're here, you can just kind of let your arms splay out, take up space. Again, palms facing up to receive. And maybe you want to kind of point flex the toes here again, tap into that Pisces energy. And when you're ready, you're going to find your Savasana. This is, this is where I'm going to leave you for class today. You can stay here for as long as you would like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think of the class. And also, I just want to let you guys know that registration for my group coaching program, Nourish Your Life, opens in a week on March 18th. This is a program for yoga, magic, movement, mindfulness, setting goals, finding your purpose, crushing limiting beliefs, self-love, body acceptance, all of these wonderful things, all of my courses, and an awesome, amazing, magical community of support of people on the same journey as you. We do weekly calls, two calls a week. It's amazing. I'm gonna put the link in the description box so you can get on the wait list. I only take 30 clients at a time. Please let me know if you have any questions. I would be honored to see you there. Now with that being said, I wanna leave you in this Savasana. While you're here, maybe again, start to visualize those dreams, dream bigger, push it even further and stay here for as long as you need to. I will see you next time for our Ostara Spring Equinox yoga class next week. And then for the full moon in Libra at the end of the month. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Nourish Natasha. <clears throat> Thank you so much for doing this class. Thank you so much for your support. You have no idea how much it means to me. The love and light and the dreams in me honor the love and light and the dreams in you. Thank you so much.